Well, you may have seen us last week on the telly. Yes, it was our press day for Steam Illuminations 2021. So in today's episode, we'll show you a bit of that. And more importantly, we've come to the carriage works to see just how do you make a train of illumination. Well, hello and welcome to Ropley. Today we are here at the carriage works to see just what it takes to set up a steam illuminations train. Here we've got two coaches in, pretty much rigged up and ready to go. Now, each illuminations train has six coaches. It's five passenger coaches and a generator van at the back. All need to be clad with lights and that's not including the locomotive. So to talk you guys through about just what it takes to set up one of these and some of the technical elements, let me hand you over to our lighting designer, Simon. Hi, I'm Simon Horn. Uh, I'm a volunteer here on the footplate crews here at the railway, but also for a, a living, I'm a professional concert and events lighting designer. And so, joining my talents together, uh, the railway has uh, thrown me in charge of this wonderful creation, our Steam Illuminations event. And I have designed let's call it a masterpiece <laughs> this system. Uh, it's all pretty much custom. There's very little off the shelf products we're using here. And right in front of us right now, this is the kind of the main part of it, these uh, digital icicle strings that I had created. This is one of the main parts that's very different about our train to other railways you might have seen doing this, in the fact that every LED we've got in front of us here, I have individual control over. There's around 14,000 LEDs, and each one of them we can do any color we want, and we can turn it on, we can turn it off, and it's in what's called a, a pixel map fashion. So the system knows where every LED is associated next to each other, which allows us to do really impressive sweeping effects all up and down the train, which is all programmed in time to music. As well as that, moving along, underneath the train, we have these very, very powerful full color floodlights. These are some of the most powerful uh, color floodlights you can get and they allow us to absolutely saturate all the trees uh, and all the foliage along the lines you go in any color I want. And again, they're programmed as part of the light show, so we can switch these on and off in time with the lights on the side of the carriage. So here on the other side of the coaches, we've got kind of where all the magic and all of my secrets reside. Uh, between a pair of each coaches, we have a power and data distribution box. Again, it's another custom product that we've had to fabricate and put together to make this system run. This takes all the data signals from our main lighting control system and distributes that along with power uh, across these two coaches to all the LEDs and the lights underneath. So more importantly now, why don't we go inside and we'll see what all the passengers see. So here we are on the inside of the coach now, and this to me was the most important bit of what we were doing because this at the end of the day is where the paying passengers are. I wanted to give them an incredible experience both inside and out, and so we have added lights on the inside as well as what you can view in the windows as well here. As a passenger, you have the lights flashing above you here, as you can see here. We're on a test pattern at the moment, but normally we're sweeping effects all up and down the coach. It's quite a view along in harmony with what you're seeing twinkling down the windows. And again, it's all programmed to a wonderful kind of Christmas DJ mix, which is wonderfully narrated uh, by the legend from X Factor, who does the voiceovers for that called Voiceover Man. Also, while you're sitting here in the carriage, you've obviously got the view of all the trees and the landscape, again, lit up by the, the lights underneath. It's a truly wonderful experience. And on top of that, everyone gets a little LED wristband as well that flashes along to the music again with all the lights you can see around us. Well, I tell you what, there's a lot that goes into making one of these. And hopefully that's given you a, a brief idea about just some of what goes into building a train of illumination. Now, as we mentioned, um, these are two coaches which are pretty much done, or they look pretty much done, and there's another four to do. So without any further ado, let's leave them to it and let the magic happen.
I have to admit, even after watching this being plumbed together, that moment when you flick the switch and the lights come on, it's not technology, it's just magic. Now, this event is our media launch day, where we launch Steam Illuminations and invite the media down to come and ride and visit the railway and share the love. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the event. If you want the definition of a magical event, this, folks, is it. And I know some of you guys missed out on the opportunity last year due to regulations that came in, but do not worry, we have plenty of seats available. We have just released some more. So go on, get online, book some tickets to this spectacular event. For those of you guys who came last year, we're taking that and we're going up a level. We trialed out a few new things this year and it looks spectacular. So folks, get online, Book yourself tickets and we'll see you next time. <laughs>